Nina Kulagina was the Soviet Union's preeminent telekinetic medium. Her psychic feats were well documented in these home movies and captured by Russian scientists on the secret films you're about to see. Focusing her will on a target object, Kulagina was able to move objects weighing up to one pound using the raw power of only her mind. During these experiments, she claimed to feel a sharp pain in her spine, and scientists recorded her heart racing to 180 beats per minute. Startled scientists suggested in Kulagina's case, the electromagnetic energy normally emitted from living tissue was greatly amplified. By placing her hands in close proximity to a target object, this energy field was actually able to move it. She was taken to various laboratories throughout so the Soviet Union to be measured, studied, researched, and the KGB was behind it, as far as I know. Intrigued by their initial success with Kulagina, Soviet researchers decided to see what the limits of her powers were. They knew she could affect inanimate objects, but what about living tissue, like a beating heart? On March 10, 1970, Soviet researchers decided to put Kulagina to the test. She would attempt to alter the heartbeat of a frog, simultaneously monitoring Kulagina and the frog's heart. They found that the powerful psychic could actually speed up and slow down its rhythm on command. This was truly a revolutionary breakthrough in parapsychology research. They discovered that telekinetic power could be used to affect the bioelectrical impulses of living tissue. And then, in a disturbing demonstration of her abilities, Kulagina successfully commanded the heart to stop beating. An impressive feat that no doubt drew the interest of the agents in the KGB. Could such a power be used against human beings? Under the supervision of Soviet researchers, the man's heart was linked to a heart monitor and he was placed before Kulagina. As she concentrated on his heart, the man's steady rhythm began to change rapidly, willing it to slow down. Kulagina pushed the man's heart to a point approaching cardiac arrest. The researchers had to intervene to save the man's life. Ironically, it was a heart attack brought on by continuous mental strain that forced her into retirement. But the Soviets soon found her successor, an heir worthy of Kulagina's psychic crown. Alavina Grodova, a telekinetic medium, who proved herself to be Kulagina's equal in every way. With Kulagina's retirement, Vina Grodova became the focus of the KGB interest in telekinesis. In these films smuggled out of the Soviet Union by Western researchers, Vina Grodova demonstrated her remarkable telekinetic abilities. With a wave of her hand, the target object is compelled to move, guided by an invisible force. The object changes direction several times, totally responsive to her will. Researchers working with Vina Grodova claimed to feel the electrostatic energy field left near the object after she had moved it. Flashlight bulbs placed near the test site would light up briefly, confirming the presence of this energy. The Soviets had their newest telekinetic medium, equally stunning in her abilities as her predecessor, Kulagina. Uh, the KGB was interested in so-called telekinetic hits actual uh, destruction of enemies through the use of telekinesis, objects within their bodies, enemies' bodies. So definitely the KGB would be interested. How far they had achieved success, I do not know. 
If the KGB used such psychics to conduct covert assassinations, they kept no record of it. And autopsies of heart attack victims would not reveal a telekinetic influence. But the idea behind such an undetectable psychological warfare does give one pause to think. <laughs>